Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour on what's on my phone. First off, it's an Oppo F9 in the variant Starry Purple, and I just got this clear case on it with a Monster X photo card. This is my lock screen, and I got this picture from Pinterest. And this wallpaper is also from Pinterest. Some people like to put their most used apps in the first uh, page, but I actually like to have mine in the third. Um, I don't know why, but for my first page, I like to keep it clean and blank just with the time widget. For my main apps or the apps at the bottom, I have phone, messages, camera, and chrome. Then on to the second page. It mostly contains the essential apps for every phone. Then I have this row of folders which contain apps that I rarely or never use but cannot get rid of. Like these for my SIM cards. And I have two tool folders that contain mostly apps that keep on getting added on my phone every time it has a system update, which is really annoying. And although I could put them in one folder, I separate them so that I could have a whole row like this, which is more pleasing to look at. But some apps that I do use from these folders are this HP plugin to connect my phone with my printer, and Watchy, which is a VPN so that I could watch shows from US Netflix. I mainly use it to watch Grey's Anatomy seasons that aren't available in my country. Then I have some Google stuff. And lastly for this page, Gmail and Yahoo Mail. Now the third page mostly contains the apps that I use all the time, excluding Viber which I only ever use to chat with my mom, then Facebook to look at memes, Twitter I don't really use that much anymore. But you guys can follow this account that I mainly use to tweet about Monster X and anime if you like. Anyway, next up is Messenger and YouTube, then Instagram. I have two accounts, one with mostly my face in it, then the other one which just has my artsy stuff. Next I have Netflix, which I unfortunately don't have a premium account as of the moment and Pinterest. Pretty sure we all know what Pinterest is. As I always say, it's the capital of Tumblr or Visco Girl wannabes like me. Next is VLive, which I mainly use to watch Monster X stuff, as well as playlist web dramas. If you guys like watching K-dramas, you're likely also going to enjoy their stuff. My favorite from them is 18. You can also find them in YouTube, but they upload much quicker in VLive. Next is Snapchat, which I don't really use. TikTok to waste my time on. Spotify, obviously to listen to music. Then I have another row of folders. The first one is called Office, which has Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, as well as the scanner app, which is really helpful when I'm too lazy to start up our actual scanner. Dictionary, Share It, and Gbox. Gbox does a lot of things, but I mainly use it as a keyboard extension to paste photos in my Insta stories. Let me show you guys how I use it. So I take a picture in my stories. Maybe put a plain background. Then I change my keyboard to Gbox. And click this photo icon right here. And with that, I could just paste as many photos as I can. It's really useful for making creative Insta stories. And lastly for this folder, I have Anki. Anki is an app which is basically for making flashcards and it's very useful for med or pre-med students. But you can use it for any subject that needs memorization. The next folder contains my reading apps. Aldigo for ebooks and 
I mostly have YA books because it's probably my favorite genre. My recent read was Kingdom of Ash, if you're curious. And then I have Manga Rock, which I used to read manga and webtoons in, but rest in peace it doesn't work anymore. I still can make myself an insolent though. The next folder is the most dangerous one. It's straight up robbery. Shopee, which I have 99 plus things in my cart, and three purchases about to arrive. With Lazada, it isn't actually as bad, just 54 items in my cart. Next to that is Carousel, where I sell stuff I don't use anymore, Street Buy to order food, Shop Back to get some coins back from online shopping, and Beauty Aminal for legit skincare and makeup. Then the last folder just contains my photo editing apps. Pixart, which I used to bring 2D boys to life, aka the only boys I will ever like. Then Snapseed, Lightroom, and Visco for aesthetic photos. Canva for editing thumbnails. Snow, I never use but somehow can't delete. Facetune to clean up or brighten up the background of my photos and preview to plan out my feed, which I actually had given up on at this point. Next up, I have the app called Your Closet, which reminds me of all the clothes that I own, so I don't end up wearing the same shirt and jeans my whole life. This app is really useful and gives me clueless vibes. The last app in this page is Up Astro. It's basically astrology stuff. You fill up some details about your birth, like the time, place, date, and it will give you your natal chart. Your natal chart consists of things like your rising sign, the moon you were born under, stuff like that and what they mean. I honestly don't really believe in astrology, but I like the feeling of excitement and surprise that I get when I read about stuff that they get right. Now we're finally off to the fourth and last page which has games. Mobile Legends I used to be really addicted to. I'm not good at it though as I can only ever play one hero and that's Hanabi. Superstar is basically like Top Top but much harder. Impossibly difficult even. There are different Superstar apps for every K-pop company or label. I just have Starship because I do stand Monster X and Sistar. I haven't played this in a while though. 8-Ball Pool for my newly found love for billiards. How's my form? <laughs> and Adorable Home. I'm pretty sure we all know what this game is at this point. All my friends have it and it really is fun. Let me show you guys my rooms. My garden is really nasty though and the bathroom is not finished yet. And last but certainly not the least, Mystic Messenger. It's an otome game which is targeted towards lonely women or men, which I had actually become because of quarantine. But in this game, you basically flirt with hot but really annoying guys and make one of them fall for you. Well, one at a time at least. And that's it for this video. I hope you somehow enjoyed my rambling and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!